I want to ask about this because, you know, obviously if you're running against a Republican right now, they would probably be attacking your lack of experience, but you're in this situation where even progressives who like your ideas are concerned about it. How do you address this fact that you aren't coming from a political background, especially at a time where someone's in the White House who didn't have a lot of experience and it looks like it's not going great? Well, <laughs> but what I want to say is, 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 Donald Trump is first and foremost a real estate developer, right? Who ran to give himself and people in his tax bracket a, a, a huge income tax break. I mean, I'm somebody who grew up the daughter of a single mother in a five flight, one bedroom walk up, uh, somebody who has spent the last 17 years and used my celebrity uh, to fight for, for LGBTQ equality and for women's rights and abortion rights, and most especially to fight for better funding and more equal funding for New York's public schools. And I think that that's the kind of progressive fighter that New York needs leading it right now. We already have a corrupt corporate Republican in the White House. We don't need a corrupt corporate Democrat opposing him in, in Albany. So I want to get to uh, an issue that uh, we both agree is, a, is, and I think everybody in this city agrees, uh, the subways are, they're not good. <laughs> uh, you wanted, that's one thing you've addressed. And obviously, you know, the, the subway is a lifeblood for a lot of people that have to get to work. This is a serious issue. The subway issue. is literally what New York City runs on. It's literally what it runs on. And how do you even go about trying to address this issue that not just through, uh, to be fair, it has been deteriorating for years, not just through the, the Cuomo administration. Yes, but look at what's happened in the last seven years. Delays have tripled under Andrew Cuomo. We've got the worst on-time record now of any major transit system in the entire country. We did have that pizza wrap. That was a nice moment. <laughs> <laughs> that happened on his watch. There was the first governor to have a pizza wrap. But he, he has watched the steady decline. He's, he's siphoned off hundreds of millions of dollars for pet projects that have absolutely nothing to do with transportation. And the fact of the matter is, like so many of the issues that we face, the problems that we face in New York, we know the solution, but right now we have a governor who doesn't have the political will to make it happen. The solution being we need more money put into the subway. The solution being we have a really comprehensive plan for how to fix them to replace the 1930s era signals, to replace the, the trains from the 60s and the 70s, to, to run cars closer together so we can get more trains on the system so we're all not jammed in like sardines. But Andrew Cuomo doesn't want to enact uh, a, a tax on millionaires because they're some of his biggest donors and he doesn't want to alienate them. And, his, and, and they're not people who ride the subway. He himself is not someone who rides the subway. He's been on the subway twice since taking office. As somebody who's on the subway every day and knows firsthand how terrible it is and how it's getting worse and worse month by month, this is not something we have a choice about fixing the New York City subway. And this is not something that we can delay fixing. It's only going to get harder and more expensive to fix the longer we wait. Is it, has it been disappointing for you or is it what you expected that a lot of establishment Democrats are uh, throwing their support behind uh, Governor Cuomo? Uh, you know, people like Joe Biden and people like Hillary Clinton are, are, are supporting him. Is that what you expected or a disappointment? This is exactly what we expected. This is a total insurgent campaign. This is a people-powered campaign. And this is a campaign that uh, we're talking to people about issues. We're talking to people about things that they care about, like um, legalizing marijuana. I know your audience doesn't care about that issue in particular. <laughs> but that we have to legalize marijuana for a lot of reasons, but also because it's a racial justice issue. Because People across all ethnicities and races use marijuana at roughly the same rates, but 80% of the arrests are of black and Latino people. And it's just the tip of the iceberg of the justice reform that we need to do. We need to stop the over-policing of communities of color. Uh, we have to stop mass incarceration. And, and when we're talking about mass incarceration, we're talking about mass incarceration of people of color. And uh, uh, the subway is also mass incarceration, <laughs> if you've been on it recently. At the moment, uh, at the moment it is. <laughs> at the moment it is. Uh, it, it's all very exciting. Uh, it's very exciting to have you here, both because of uh, the political message that you're pushing forward. Also, we were talking backstage. I do want to mention this briefly. I had never seen Sex in the City. Uh, my wife made me start watching it this year. We're on I'm season so four. Yes. I'm very much enjoying it. Good, good, um, good. I, uh, but what, I'm really bothered because I feel like I have a really good impression of Steve. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like it's a problem because I feel like the window is closed as far as that being an effective tool. 
Like, no one's dying to hear a Steve impression <laughs> right now. But I feel like since you're here, I have a unique opportunity to do it. I would be so thrilled. Okay, great. I Are wish you ready? we do we have a, a Brooklyn Bridge uh, you know, photo this is that close we can, enough. It's I close feel like, yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. All right, okay. What's going on with us, Miranda? <laughs> I mean, I can't figure out what we're doing. Should we get a dog? That's very good. Thank you. That means a lot. You made me feel very good. You just made me that feel was really beautiful. good. Thank you so much for being here. Give it up for Cynthia Nixon, everybody.